West Ham in response. They perhaps thought they had the game in the bag. Hills for offside against McGlinchey, not heeded. He's tripped his way past McClenahan. McGlinchey! Oh, what a goal! What a fabulous goal by Michael McGlinchey! Goal for the national team and he's doing brilliantly for the Mariners. But defensively, again, this is just not good enough. You've just got yourself back into the game of Sydney FC. You know Michael McGlinchey's a tricky customer. And you've got to get two people out to him. Trent McClenahan's isolated, beaten, and McGlinchey thrashes it home. What a great piece of vision. What a great piece of skill and perseverance. And what a crisp... Finding the back of the net in the opening minutes. It's now Brocky squares it across to Killen. Now McGlinchey drives it, and they open the scoring early. On Chris Killen's strike, Michael McGlinchey rubbed salt into the wound, deep into injury time. McGlinchey! Oh, what a goal! Michael McGlinchey. Incredible. Kapkowski. Oh, lovely ball by Rogic. McClinchy sidesteps one. This is beautiful stuff. Hedgebow steaming forward. McClinchy on the outside. Three weight for the delivery. That's a cute cutback for Boic. Good football again by the Mariners. Headed clear by Grant. Helped on by Petkovsky. Still the home side. How it appeals for offside. Not heeded by Sydney FC. Boic in behind. Can he find the delivery? Sydney FC really stretched by McGlinchey, he'll continue the run then by Boic, down he goes penalty says Trent Radulovsky and a yellow card for Trent McLennan to coast yeah penalty Radulovsky in no doubt I'm in no doubt short corner taken by Slijowski Hutchinson, the Mariners in the mood for more here oh what about that for a ball off the woodwork and in by the... Well, the Sky Blues entrails are splattered across their own penalty area. This is humiliation writ large. This is Halloween four days late. This is the Mariners... They've given it away again. They've given up the ghost almost here, said the FC. McGlinchey running with intent. Josh Rose is forward here. Could it be seven? It is, you know! So we talked about... The drip becoming a torrent, and Fedding have got a tsunami here. Ludicrously bad defending. But talk about a team that can smell blood. The Mariners ain't finished, and they want this team absolutely, totally, utterly hung, drawn, and quartered. And they ain't gonna finish. Mariners pushed for an equaliser in the second half and was substitute Kwasnick scoring for the second game in a row. Michael McGlinchey pinned his ears back when he got the ball just past the halfway mark. Who immediately makes a beeline for the goal. McGlinchey still over the bar and his second failed to make it past Matthew Nash. The Mariners had Newcastle in a spin but failed to make the most of their first half opportunities. Despite the injury, Central Coast kept their heads. Free header back of the next. Newcastle somehow leaving the league's leading scorer un. <laughs> Plenty of pace on, Moss is stretched, and really it's just good fortune that the New Zealanders don't go down with a second goal. They just couldn't find the goal, could they, the Australians? And he's not to emerge for the second half. I'm not sure that it was uh, the young substitutes. Costa Barbarusos, good jump on him as well. He's going to direct his header under the crossbar. And again, good, good early signs from the All-Whites. Started the second half way, way better than they did the first. And here's Smelts. We didn't see enough of this in the first half. And it's good quick feet from Shane Smelts, but uh, good defending as well. Force backwards. Flag stays down. Lockhead. Touch now. Lockhead into the area. 
This is better, promising. Touchdown now for McGlinchey, and they've equalised. New Zealand through Michael McGlinchey, and they've started the second half. Pass the keeper. Ball knocked down, hint of a handball there, but McGlinchey just drills that one past the keeper. So it does well, good technique, gets his foot over the ball. The question here is, will he get on the park at 1-1? Because New Zealand pressing again, Brocky, space at the front. No foul. New Zealand without the numbers uh, forward for Chris Killen. Just on the ball, everything he's done so far, you know, he's held off. Chance for uh, New Zealand on the break, Shane Smeltz with support, an opportunity to take the lead. And we're seeing much of it on display here tonight. Yes, there is, and I mean, um, it's also... Flag stays down here, so talking of young talent and opportunities, Rojas at the far post, looking for support, Barbarossas couldn't find the... Real threat there for the Mariners, it's too close to the keeper, but Theo... Let's have a very close look here. Well, I'd say that's it. I'd say fair. Tommy Rogic has been the most likely for the Mariners. Kept in by Montgomery, I think it was. McGlinchey. For Ben Sigmund. And now for Rogic.